Hi guys, I'm Jordan from Norwich Camping and Leisure and I'm starting a new tent from Van Gogh for the 2023 season. This is the Lismore TC. So that is a technical cotton material. So this is a slightly different material to some of the other tents you might have seen on the market. This is a poly cotton, uh, so te well, they call it TC technical cotton, which is a, is a poly cotton. Um, so it's crossed between a poly polyester mix and a cotton. So it's not full cotton, but it's, it's breathable, it's hard wearing. Um, it will sort of regulate the temperature as well, so at night it should keep you a bit warmer and the day keeps you a bit cooler as well. So if you're going to hotter climates into Europe, this is ideal for that sort of thing. Or if you're going at the really hot times in the UK as well. But it's a lot more durable, so if you're looking after your tent and want to have a tent for many years to come, TC is the way forward. So they do the Lismore TC in um, a 450 and a 600. So a 450 is a four berth and a 600 to 6 berth, so this is the 600 we've got here and we've actually got it in a polled version as well which is just that tent over there which is a 450 so it'll be worth checking out the video on the polled version we've done as well so we've done two separate videos, one for air, one for polled but they also do the Lismore in a normal polyester material as well so check out that video so as I was saying obviously poly cotton um, we've got guy ropes all the way around the edges we've got full webbing straps on the front and the back so you can really pull them tight and that gets the roof nice and taut so especially when you peg the back ones and the front ones um, it's air beam it's inflatable so basically at this location here on the other side of the tent there is a point where you pump it up and on this one we've got one two three four five tubes to inflate so nice and quick and easy should have this pitched in around about 20 minutes what I like about the Lismore is the front door so this is just gives you plenty more shelter, more usable space in your tent. So this area here, you can use it as a sun canopy, uh, food preparation area, wardrobe, you know, or your, you know keep your, your cupboards and stuff, but it's also, you can close it up, so it's a bit more of a, a sheltered area, so you haven't got to worry about the rain coming in. As you can see, we've got our door open halfway like so, but there's a little clip at the top here, that you can uh, take it out and then unzip it and you can completely open up the whole tent. So I've got it pegged at the bottom there, but open it up, roll it all the way to the side, really open the tent, allow lots of airflow in, kids can run in and out of the tent. So nice that you can open up that front like, like, just like that. In this area here, we've got two big windows either side, so you've got a nice view of the campsite, uh, especially if you're using it as like, you know, sat down here as a uh, canopy area. There's no blinds in this area on these windows. So it's not like a, pri a private area, so they, you know, people will be able to see in this area. So not ideal for obviously sleeping in this bit, but you can keep your obviously belongings in here, I'm sure it'll be fine. As we go into the main part of the tent now, on this front panel here, we've got mesh panel this side and this side. So that allows for more airflow in and out of the tent. Um, it, you know, obviously reducing condensation. So the more airflow, the better to, you know, to reduce condensation. But although it's breathable and you should get less condensation, that will help as well with that. There is blinds on everywhere in this area, in this section because that's obviously, this is a then private area uh, in your tent. On the front D-shaped door here, we've got a mesh panel on there as well. So again, more, the whole front panel here is mesh, uh, allowing for that airflow. At the bottom here, we've got the, the bottom of the ground sheet completely pegs down. So you can peg that down, goes completely flat. So great for wheelchair access. And uh, if, if your kids are running in and out of the tent, they're not tripping over that that bit of the door basically so it's nice that that, drop, that drops down. So the 600 is a really nice size poly cotton tent, I really like this one, it's you know it's an ideal uh, tent for families um, or even a couple that go away for like a longer period of time but you know it's a nice size family tent, not, not too big because you know, they do a lot bigger, they do the uh, Anantara if you want the biggest and the best poly cotton but this is a nice nice size. So on this window here we've got a PVC panel um, that's got a blind on here which toggles up all the way or halfway and that is the same on this side over here as well we've got two PVC panels again toggles up halfway or all the way then on this panel here we've got our, a door an entrance and exit so this door here completely opens up you roll that up to the top here and toggles up at the top so you can keep that tidy and just leave it open or there should be some, there's some eyelets on the bottom of that, so you can put that up on king poles and have it as like a bit of a canopy um, as well. So like a, just a nice wet weather entrance, well, uh, not a wet weather entrance, another smaller entrance compared to the front door. 
That's got a mesh panel on as well, so allowing for the airflow to come in and flow out of the tent and around, you know, even from the bedroom and flowing out of there. It's got a blind on, so that zips up, this blind does. So the idea of that is that when it does rain, the water hits the, hits the blind and runs on the outside of the tent. So no PVC window on that, but obviously it is, you know, allows for the water to run out on the outside of the tent. So at the back of the tent, we've got a sky track just at the top here. So if you want to hang any lights, accessories that you're taking with you, um, the tent will come with some little sky tracks, um, little, you know, the little bits that hang on there. Uh, if not, you can buy some more of those so you can hang anything you, that you want. We've got the tension band system in here. This is what these straps are on the roof. So they just tighten up like so. And that gives the tent a lot more structure and stability. So when it is raining, uh, sorry, when, when you do leave the campsite for the day, um, you know, obviously, and it's a bit windy, you've got, you know, you can come back, you know, they're in place, keeping it a bit more, you know, giving it a bit more structure. But they do soon just clip out, and there's little pockets just on the sides for those to sit in, too. At the back, we've got our nightfall bedroom. So, this is a darker bedroom inner. So, obviously, hopefully, you don't wake up as early, or uh, even at night time, if it's light, you can obviously get the kids get to sleep a little bit earlier just because it's darker. And the material of the tent is a bit darker on the outside that it just you know makes it darker so hopefully you, uh, you should get to sleep a bit easier there's a sixth berth here so we've got two 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 with the middle bedroom being the sort of slightly bigger one um, you can they've got divides in between that can uh, so you can actually divide it up into a four and a two or or completely open it up as one big bedroom if you wanted to but as you can see there we've got a one of the Van Gogh um, camp beds in there, which is quite high because it's like one of these high ones. So although the back of the tent is sloped like that, that does fit in there quite nicely. Um, you wouldn't be able to put anything bigger in there, but that, that sits in there quite nicely. But that is quite a big two, you know, a double bed. Um, but that's got a nice finish to it as well. So, you know, nice bedroom inner. It's quite low to the floor as well, so you're not tripping in and out as well. But obviously, like you say, or like you can see, we, you can roll up the doors like this. Um, to make it nice and neat and tidy. So this is the Lismore 600 TC. Um, like I said, we do it in a 450, so slightly smaller. We also do it in a polled version, and we also do it in a polyester version as well. So it's worth checking out those videos. But if you've got any more questions on this tent, uh, or any of the tents in the range, please give us a call, check out our website, come in store. Thanks for watching this video.